So I found this beautiful place to paint, uh, someplace I visited the other day and I thought I'd go back today and do another uh, landscape study. There's this beautiful tree off in the distance and a path leading to it and uh, the Great Salt Lake um, and Salt Lake City down below me. So you just see me here sketching in some of the darks and getting ready to get some of the values in. But first, I like to start with the darks. I've learned uh, that, you know, a lot of different methods can can uh, lead one into a painting, but one of the ones that I think is particularly interesting and helpful is, is getting the darks in, because then if the light changes, at least you have a roadmap for where you have been and where you're going. So, I'll just fast forward through some of this and you can see how I get some of these basic values in. So I guess I should have said earlier, but the colors I've been using or will be using are titanium white and cerulean blue for um, the sky um, with a little bit of ultramarine blue thrown in there. Um, for the farthest mountains, I was looking at ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson and, um, and white. Uh, um, probably some cerulean blue in there, just trying to get a little bit of distance. For much of the foreground, I've been looking at yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, medium, um, burnt umber, burnt sienna, um, viridian green a little bit with um, uh, sort of toned down with uh, alizarin crimson and ultramarine uh, blue. And um, and that's that's basically all the colors that I've been I've been playing with. So. Um, just playing with those those uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine nine different colors and just trying to get a sense of of um, how they can be in harmony with each other. So you'll see me starting here now to work on some of the tree um, midtones. I'm trying to get a little bit more of a sense of, and I think I was partially successful at this, but um, but want to get better at it, this sense of just creating interesting shapes with trees um, rather than what we think trees should be, really looking and seeing what's in front of you and, and maybe um, maybe uh, highlighting some of those some of those interesting shapes that are in front of you. So trying to get interesting shapes with a tree, and this was certainly an interesting shaped tree, you know. Um, one of the interesting things that I've been I've I've learned and and um, ha have been trying to work on is just how dark really trees are and um, and you know one of the things that's oftentimes said is that trees are vertical elements like trees are oftentimes the the darkest elements in a landscape or should be the darkest elements in a landscape painting um, followed by anything that is in an angled um, orientation to the viewer like mountains uh, usually the second darkest and um, usually the ground plane is is uh, the second lightest and usually the sky is, is the very lightest so those those four planes of of um, brightness of value are uh, things that I'm really trying to get better at capturing with paint 
So um, you'll see me continue to work on the on the tree and and on all the on all the planes and uh, just trying to refine each element uh, more and more. Well, that about does it for me, I guess. I um, had a great time painting out um, above Salt Lake City today and um, just continuing to try and practice, try to get better, um, try and get uh, more more capable and, and experienced with composition and atmospheric perspective and just all the things of what makes a good painting. Um, as you can see up close, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty loose when you get close to it, but um, I uh, I'm I'm trying not to get too too nitpicky in all the details. Although I do love I do love um, you know precise work, but uh, standing back from it, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm I'm um, I'm getting better, and I'm and more importantly, I'm I'm really enjoying the process of what it is to to practice this art. So challenging, but uh, such a joy. Love it. Hope you all are doing well. Take good care. We'll see you soon.